losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna. That ball of paper. Can I have a look? I think it might be mine. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to litter. I'm sorry. I dropped it out of my window in a fit of frustration earlier. Thank you. It suddenly occurred to me that I'd written a particularly beautiful sentence on this piece. I'm sure it seems strange to rifle through trash finding a single sentence. But to a writer, inspiration comes but at a moment's notice. But I couldn't remember what it was I wrote. Let me see. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. No, that's awful. No one would remember that. What was I thinking? The stars glisten with the light of a thousand lives. A diamond, an oath, a promise. This sentence, what do you think? You understand! Diamonds and stars. Had they had eyes, they would have witnessed the greatest of romance. Isn't it a lovely thought? A poem, I think, would be fitting. A poem can express feelings far better than prose, for those with whom you are closer. Anyway, let me think. I really need some context for this sentence. No, unfortunately not. This is for a new job. I'm writing a column for the Tumbleweed Standard. Since coming to Sandrock, I've... Ah, <sighs> almost spent all of my savings. As a writer, I don't have much of an income before each release. So, in order to stay here and write my books, I need an income to supplement my daily expenses. And I... I can't just ask my family for more money. So, my wondrous, amazing, kind builder! I have a request. For the sake of helping those in dire straits, eating nothing but the specials at the Blue Moon, could I ask you for a discount next time I need your services? <laughs> Industrious, aren't you? Well, I was joking with you, but since you mention it... How about this? I don't need a discount, but I'll still repay the debt. About a poem. A poem. It will belong to you. You'll own it totally non fungible. Even if my sister sings it, well, she'll have to pay you royalties. How about that? Does it sound like a good idea? Oh! Is that a blush I see on your cheeks? <laughs> You're cute, you know that? Well, today has been enlightening. Thank you so much for your inspiration. And also for keeping me company. But I really have to run. These articles don't write themselves, you know. But ah, I've been looking for you. I'm astounded. I heard you and the Civil Corps bravely saved Minister Matilda. You even fought the infamous bandit yourself, did you not? Just amazing! Do you have some time to tell me about the experience? I want to capture every moment, every breath. Okay, then let's begin. I understand that as soon as Matilda was captured, you followed in hot pursuit. What happened next? Ah, so Logan fought you all alone and came out victorious? Is he really that powerful? 
and he created a chance to get away by using Matilda as a diversion. Wow! I knew he was powerful, but cunning as well. Oh, no, no! I'm not praising the daring bandit that captured the minister. I mean, he has to pay for his crimes, even in fiction. Ahem. <clears throat> Let me see. No! I have to go myself! I need to see it with my own eyes. Feel the energy. Let the inspiration run through me! Now that the minister has been rescued, and Logan's gang have absconded, it should be aptly free of danger. Of course, I should still be prepared. Perhaps some weapons for self-defense, naturally. Could you perhaps make me one? Something simple, I guess. I'm, uh, not exactly a fighter. But I trust you to figure something out. Ah, quick and reliable as usual. You builders certainly deserve your praise. All right, what else should I bring with me? It seems your care is not simply common courtesy. And I do trust you with my life. Then tomorrow, let's meet at the entrance of the cave. See you there. Ah, you're here. Let's go. The anticipation is already filling me with an inspiring motivation. So, it's here? Right. An old world ruin, of course. It looks like it's partly man-made and partly natural. Interesting. There are abandoned pipes everywhere. I wonder what they were used for. All right, let's go. If you remember anything, let me know. It's strange. The conditions here are simple, but I can imagine such warmth. Sitting around the campfire, drinking hot soup, and sharing their life stories. Perhaps playing a tune. An old folk song. a refuge of some sort? Basic facilities. A haven for travelers who stray too far and find themselves locked in a battle against the hazardous environment. People leave food and water for the next traveler. These marks are naturally formed. They're evidence of the heroic battle that took place. I can hear it now. The clash of metal. The shrill echo of a gunshot. Amazing. Do you remember anything? The truth? I heard he kidnapped Matilda because he suspected someone in town was hiding water. But it's, that doesn't seem like common banditry. Although his actions were vicious and reprehensible, his eyes were soft and sensitive. They seemed to tell of a man burdened by sorrow mystery, and justice. For those who claim to uphold the law, harbor secrets of their own. Ah, obviously I'm not alluding to anything. This is all purely fiction, mind you. Any resemblance are purely coincidence and all that. Well, it's completely blocked. It was a risky move causing an explosion in a cave such as this. But the level of control that caused such accurate damage... They must have planned this escape route in advance! The mind that thought this up... Spectacular! Our protagonist is both wise and daring in equal turn. Ah, uh, <laughs> No, no, of course I don't mean Logan. He's an antagonist, of course, of course. 
I simply mean the character in my novel. But, uh, what do you think? The sword came as naturally to them as the pick hammer. As though challenging the jack of all trades, master of none title was their fate. To help the poor and wealthy alike, they fearlessly traversed whatever came their way. Such depth of character. And one I'm starting to understand more as days go on. Perhaps, once I get to know you better, you could really be a good foundation for my next novel. So, it's really... Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, a little bruised, maybe, but nothing serious. Uh, I'm not so weak I'm taken out by a little fall, am I? Looks like no one has been here recently, but what does it tell us? How long was he here? It appears that's true, but whatever the case is, this place is just... inspiring. I had a flash of something. The child was born of a noble mother, and had she not eloped with his low-born father, he would have been born into affluence. Her parents, however, had protested their love, chasing them to the ends of the earth. And thus, his upbringing, forced into exile, was shabby and pitiful, living in crevasses, caves, and downtrodden abodes. All right, I think that's enough. Thanks for coming with me, but alas, time is fleeting, and we really should be heading back. This adventure was inspiring. I've got a bunch of new ideas. Well, I better go write them down before I forget. See you later.